What is before input in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.1. I've also got a sample job already set up on this controller. Now let's go take a look at the documentation for before input. What before input is used for is evaluating when before the input directive. So by default, the when condition for a stage will not be evaluated before the input if one is defined. However, this can be changed by specifying the before input option within the when block. So what does this look like? Let's go back over to our job and take a look at the configuration. We'll click on configure and let's take a look at this job. So what we have is a pipeline with two stages. We have an initial stage that just says hello world. And then we have a second stage to where we have our win condition. Now we've also gone ahead and defined before input to true. So what this means is when I'm on the branch production, and also since I've set before input to true, if I'm not on that branch, then the input is going to be skipped. Or the only way that input will be able to be reached is if we are on the branch of production. So let's go ahead and run this job. We'll click on build now and take a look at the output from the job run. What we'll see here is that the second stage, the example deploy stage, was skipped due to the win conditional. Again, we're currently not on a branch of production. Well, let's invert that and let's say not on branch production. So that means any other time but production, let's have the input show. So let's modify the job, click on configure, and we're going to change the branch production to not. And then we'll put a closing around that. So what this says now is when we are not on branch production, we're going to evaluate this before the input and then the input should display. So let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. If we go into the output of job run two, we can see our input is waiting. So we can say proceed or abort. We'll go ahead and click on proceed. It says deploying. And if we take a look at the output for the job and we can see here that it's successfully deployed in job run two, but we can also see from job run one that, that second stage was skipped when we were not on the branch of production. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.